Hyatt's Dwyer, March 4th, 2020, the day after Super Tuesday. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about a political bet. But remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. Let's just be clear here, right? You know, this video is not to encourage you to vote for anyone, right? This is a gambling video. This is just placing odds on the outcome of the election. Now, news has broken in the last few hours that Michael Bloomberg has endorsed Joe Biden and has suspended his campaign, right? Bernie Sanders is going to be very competitive in some western states. There's no question about it. I don't think people understand how progressive things have gotten out here on the west coast. But if you look at the Super Tuesday vote totals, and they're surprising to me. I thought Elizabeth Warren would do a lot better. But if you look at the Super Tuesday vote totals, and if you look at the totals received by Michael Bloomberg, who finishes third in several states, and Joe Biden, right? If you combine those two, because in my opinion, it's very unlikely that someone who would vote for Michael Bloomberg, would then pivot and have Bernie Sanders as their second choice. Then you'll see that Biden right now, who already has more delegates than Bernie Sanders, right? Biden, who won the state of Texas, this is with Bloomberg in the race. Joe Biden right now, with Pete Buttigieg's endorsement, with Amy Klobuchar's endorsement with Michael Bloomberg's endorsement clearly has the inside track, dare I say the path to the Democratic nomination. Right? Bernie looks great now as the moderate Democratic vote coalesces. I believe Bernie's going to fall off. Right? I think you can draw a correlation between stock market performance, and it's an inverse correlation, and Bernie Sanders' success in Democratic primaries. You have a lot of people out there who are very concerned about the idea of a socialist becoming president of the United States. So right now there is a play, and I'll admit I'm surprised by it. I thought Joe was mortally wounded. I believe I made an earlier video here, early on, where I thought Elizabeth Warren was a good bet at 10 to 1 to win the Democratic Party nomination. But the way it looks right now, I believe at plus 175, let me repeat that, at plus 175, those are the odds being offered, Joe Biden represents compelling value as a candidate to win the presidency, right? Let's just do the math quickly. Understand that the Democrats and the Republicans, when we get to the party nominees, right, neither party is going to be or should be a greater than 60% favorite to win the Oval Office. Understand, Donald Trump lost the popular vote in 2016, right? He won the vote that mattered, the Electoral College, but he lost the popular vote. Now, that was before the coronavirus. That was before all of these negative-yielding international bonds. Right? If anything goes wrong in the economy, if athletic events, and this has nothing to do, obviously, with Trump's performance, but if athletic events, for example, 
start to be canceled and people panic because of the coronavirus. If you have issues with the stock market, understand, there are business cycles. Sooner or later, the business cycle ends. You also have a coronavirus that's disrupted a lot of supply chains. Now, I appreciate those who believe that the stock market is going to continue to melt up. Right? Let me make a nod here to Stansberry Research's Steve Sugarood. Let me also mention esteemed economist Martin Armstrong. I follow both of them. They might be right. But just to understand that if they're wrong, if the stock market, which has been undergoing severe turbulence of late, if the stock market swoons a bit, and let's face it, the valuations based on profits are at historical highs. If the stock market dips, I believe history tells us that voters are going to blame the incumbent, whether or not that incumbent is the cause of the dip. So if anything goes wrong in the economy, if anything goes wrong in terms of health panics, voters are going to blame Donald Trump. Right? Right now, you're getting spectacular odds on Biden at a plus 175. If the only major party candidates left in the race were Biden and Donald Trump, a plus 175 would be extreme odds for either to get in a two-person race. Given that Bernie makes a lot of people anxious, so anxious, that all of the people who've dropped out of the Democratic nomination who have endorsed the candidate have endorsed Joe Biden. Right? I get the feeling that Bernie is going to eventually fade from the picture. Joe Biden is going to win the Democratic nomination. And you'll be in a position, if you're able to lock in plus 175 odds today, to hedge the play, right? You could throw some money on Trump after the odds adjust, after Trump goes from being an overwhelming favorite, which he is right now, to win the 2020 presidential race, to a candidate that the market values as having anywhere from, let's say, a 45% to a 55% chance of winning. Once the line adjusts, if you're nervous about Biden's chances of winning, I believe you'll be able to hedge the play, throw some money on Trump, and win if either candidate wins the presidency. The bet I'm recommending here on March the 4th, 2020, is to take Joe Biden at a plus 175. That's what's being offered at some online books. Check the legality of betting online for your jurisdiction. That's your responsibility. But the bet I'm recommending is Joe Biden at a plus 175 to win it all. Obviously, there are a lot of areas of uncertainty. We simply don't know who Joe Biden is going to pick as his running mate. Also, there's Hunter Biden, that ongoing saga, right? We simply don't know what's going to happen as more revelations come out about Hunter Biden. My point to you is at a plus 175, you're being compensated for the risks. Understand, it's a plus 75 on someone who right now is the front runner to be a major party presidential nominee. Right? If I just told you in the abstract that you could get a plus 175, on the Democratic Party nominee or the Republican Party nominee, I believe that's a bet you need to take. Right? They're telling you that if the race happened 2.75 times, 
that Joe Biden would only win one of the 2.75, right? I consider that to be outrageous. I like Joe Biden at these odds. This is a position for your betting portfolio that I believe in, right? In fact, let me couch this differently. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. You decide what you want to do. This is just a trade idea. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.